welcome to my channel. This is Gretchen and it's so nice to be back here on this space on YouTube. Medyo naging busy tayo the past months. As you all know, I moved to TV5, to Signal TV. And now, I am moved out of the house. Crazy times call for crazy measures, Ika nga. Dahil pandemic ngayon, I had to move out to keep my parents and my family safe. And today, I'll tell you a little bit about what that life looks like for me. So, let's go! Welcome to my crib! <laughs> so, Labas, this is the balcony area and this is the first area I'm showing you guys because it's my most favorite of all. Um, it's the place that gives me the most joy and ease. Obvious ba? May bisikleta ako dito. Pag training, nakakabit sa trainer. So, if I don't want to go out, I can just do the workout here. I also have a bean bag to relax and I have my plants here so I don't have to do it uh, Aside from that, I'm a bit claustrophobic so when I got the unit, I made sure that it has something like this so I get a view, I see the sunset here uh, I have coffee in the morning and just observe people down below so um, I love, love, love this area Couch. Kwento na ako a little bit about my condo. So, sinimulan ko tong hulugan 2016. I got it turned over last year, start of the year. And, uh, nalala ko na gano'n ako nun eh. Hindi panic buying, excited buying. So, bumili ako ng appliances, bumili ako ng furniture, and I was excited to get the place ready. Maraming salamat din sa Home Suite for sponsoring some of my furniture. Check out their social media pages if you need furniture. And buti na lang ginawa ko yun kasi I made this area, this place, a little bit more livable before lockdown. So, ang dami ko nang nabili na mahirap i-transport during lockdown. Uh, looking back, you know, it was the right decision and at the right timing also to have this finished and to invest here kasi naging isolation area namin and quarantine area namin itong room na to kasi mga kapatid ko pag yung duty sa labas ako pag may work ako sa labas we would stay here now I moved out because I have work every day at the studio so I don't want to risk it I don't want to bring the virus home to my parents to my family and we don't know what's gonna happen to this pandemic we don't know how long it's gonna last so I, I told my parents that I have to move out and at that mindset na wala kalawan natin talaga mag solo living, mag adulting, mag condo living and embracing this new chapter of my life. Para sa mga nagtataka, hindi kasi masyadong uso sa amin, sa kultura namin, Filipino Chinese, to move out before kasal. So it's really a big move for me to do this but Good thing I have my support system. I have my PA, the one who's doing the video now. I have my driver who cooks for me. And I was already able to set up a good living system. But, and dami pang kailangan improve. Ng furniture ko, ng interior ko. It's, this is very basic. But you know, I'll take it day by day. I'll take it step by step. This is my whiteboard where I put my to-do list. I don't want to say no, I'm a guy. But I put all the things I need to do and uh, all my thoughts and other things that I want to do. So I don't want to think much so that I don't want to forget that I put that here. And then, I also bought online through all... <laughs> I'm going to do online shopping, so I don't want to go shopping. But because of this pandemic, we have to adjust and make do. So I haven't been able to go to the mall. I bought a printer for my research. So I want to go to the glass. Right? I'm kind of nervous. Oh, 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 
This is my mini reading area where I have a lot of the books that I want to read. So I've always wanted to have this space where I can just, you know, be quiet and sit down, relax, uh, and, and get, get a book. I guess that's one of the perks of living alone, that you get quiet, you get time to focus on what you want to do. Um, and uh dami ko pang kailangan basahin dito dami kong gustong basahin kasi madalas kuha ko ng libro sa bookstore that's the social message pero i get swept away by work so now i, I can have um, i just go here and get back to the book that i was reading the last time that i lived alone was in when when i was in the US for the IBLP seminar I was with broadcasters and journalists from around the world we talked about fake news talked about journalism under fire. Mikit kami na iba't ibang lugar sa US. Tapos sobrang saya noon kasi parang sabi ko, wow, um, <laughs> adult na ako. I get to make my own decisions. Nobody's watching over me. Nobody, I mean, it was a good self-journey to know yourself better, to know how you decide in those situations na mag-isa And that was three weeks. Um, I went to London to cover Afternoon, mag extend ako, mag din ako. I would uh, go to Ireland, go to uh, Wales. We went to Scotland also, saya. Tapos sa Australia din, nagpunta rin ako ron. Went around universities. So I guess I, I got glimpses of that through my travels abroad. And now, this is you know, a totally different chapter for me, living alone. Uh, I'm excited to see where it will take me. But excited to dive into my books as well. because it's in front of the TV. I get to watch YouTube, I get to watch our shows. Kasi meron ako signal cable. Maraming salamat sa signal at si Kuya na in-install ang aking cable. Huwag po kayo mag sa aking condo building dahil hindi po kami nag-install ng satellite dito dahil may central satellite na sila. Pero, um, so I, I watch uh, the news, I watch our shows, NBA games, etc. And can write scripts here and focus and get ideas. So, tobra na kakatuwa yung table ko, di ba? Ganun ako kanyo yung visa furniture. Nung nakita ko siya, naalibok. Speed saver. Tapos, this one naman, this is a sofa bed. Care of Home Sweet. Maraming salamat. Um, matagal ko nung sumag ng sofa bed. And, uh, there's a lot to work on interior-wise sa condo ko. Dapat paparinobin ko to, pero since I had to move in, um, quite fast. Next time na lang, but I've been buying pieces that I feel like are in tune with the design that I want. Kung may suggestions kayo for me on how to make this a better place, please do so. Please message, comment down below. I, I would love to know your suggestions. Kung may mga suppliers din kayong kilala, pwede nyo rin i-recommend sa kanyan. But I'm really trying to, I mean, enjoy the journey step by step of making this a better home little by little. Bibili pa ako ng, ano, ng bar lights, um, nagi pa ako ng painting, table, bookshelf. Dami pa, super dami pa talaga. Uh, uti uti natin, di ba? <laughs> Pag napagod na ako sa trabaho, nag-volleyball na lang ako magpatanggal ng stress and para makagalaw-galaw kasi all day tayo dito sa workstation ko. So para medyo umokay-okay yung ano, blood flow and, and everything else dahil very active ako as a person. Buti na lang meron akong black wall dito <laughs> that I can, I can use it. Oh, gusto pala niya magaro. <laughs>
sun is about to set, as you can see. And this is, yeah, I love the view here. But then, pamuni muni, observe ng mga tao with social distancing. Sarap kung migalan dito sa place na to. Thank you for allowing me to share a little bit about my life today, my my condo. Hindi ko na ba kasi yung ibang parts kasi it's a work in progress. But I think where I am right now is perfect also for where I am in life. Dito sa space na to, makakapag-focus talaga ako kasi wala yung patayang kailangan matutunan, kailangan aralan, kailangan gawin. Lalo na sa bagong trabaho ko with TV5 and Signal. Uh, please do watch our shows, The Big Story and One News, Frontline Filipinas on TV5. And uh, watch out for more work to come. More things to come for from your woman in action. Uh, so yan muna, yan muna for today. If you have any suggestions on how to make my place a little bit better, I'd appreciate that. And if you want me to feature other things or talk about other things or interview other people, again, please comment that down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Maraming salamat and <laughs> thank you for spending time with me and my dog today. Ciao!